Okay, now we continue our discussion tutorial chapter 3 electrochemistry from question 13 until 20. So, okay. Question 13 until 20 more focus on electrolytic cell. Huh? Okay, before we start, right? Okay, madam, just brief you all what is electrolytic cell. If you compare, right? What you learned before, the galvanic cell and electrolytic cell, what are the difference among these two cells? Okay, if you check electrolytic cell, there are electrodes for anode and cathode as well. The electron flow from anode to cathode. But you check over here is battery. And then anode is terminal positive, cathode is terminal negative. Okay, still the same. Anode undergo oxidation, cathode undergo reduction. Mm, and then since this is the mean positive, right? Okay, all the N ion will okay dissociate come come to attach to terminal positive means anode. Another side cation go to cathode negative terminal. Okay, only one electrolyte. Eh? Next, we know, must know what is electrode as certain Kit connector as site for the precipitation of insoluble product. Example, normally we are using the inner electrode like platinum, graphite, and carbon. And then electrolyte is a liquid that conducts electricity due to the presence of positive and negative ion must be in molten state or in aqueous solution so that the ions can move freely. Example potassium chloride, hydro, uh, hydro, hydro, hydrochloric acid, and ethanoic acid. Okay. So now we try to compare these two diagrams. One is electrolytic cell, and another one is galvanic cell. If you check, right, electrolytic cell, you just need one solution, one electrolyte, okay, with one beaker. But for galvanic cell, there are two beakers with two different solutions. Okay, the concept for the flow of electrons is still the same from anode to cathode. Okay, but the terminal is different. Huh? Okay, anode for electrolytic cell is terminal positive and then cathode terminal negative. But for galvanic cell, anode is terminal negative, cathode is terminal positive. Okay, still remember what I teach you before? Okay, for electrolytic cell, we use the mnemonic canape and then galvanic cell is kepang. Okay, you just refer to my previous video, huh? you, you can. Uh, remember cathode okay uh, okay this one is electrolytic cell canape cathode negative and not positive for electrolytic cell and then kepang cathode positive and not negative for galvanic cell so this is kepang uh. so the terminal of uh, the anode and cathode is different for different cells. Huh? Okay, so I think that's all. Uh, and another important thing is here, galvanic cell, there is a salt bridge. And then here is watt meter. Okay, just represent by watt. Huh? And then for electrolytic cell, there is no salt bridge and we have to connect with battery. Okay. And not cathode, and not cathode. Mm. So both electrolyte. Remember for the anode and cathode, you must state the phase uh, solid and then electrolyte must state the aqueous phase and with the concentration as well. Uh. Okay, there are three factors that in influence or affect the electrolysis product. One is standard reduction potential. So normally, uh, cathode is more positive value and then anode with more negative value. The second one is concentration, and then the third one is electrode. Whether we use the active electrode or inner electrode. Okay, when two half cells are possible at, at an electrode, cathode again more positive and not more negative. Okay, next is about electrolysis aqueous at anode. Okay, the first one is related with oxo and ion, for example, uh, carbonate, and ion, nitrate and ion, phosphate and ion, or sulfate and ion. It will not oxidize at anode. Why? Why it will not oxidize uh, at anode? Because the oxidation state of the central atom means the carbon, nitrogen, phosphate, and sulfate, sulfur, all is the highest. And then the water will be chosen. 
When water will be chosen, right, it will form oxygen, 4H plus ion, and 4 electron. Okay, the second aqueous ion is halide. So, for example, fluoride will not oxidize because the E node cell of fluoride is very positive. But for chloride and bromide, yes, it can be oxidized. Huh? Next, electrolysis aqueous at cathode. Still remember, cathode normally we choose the standard reduction potential with more positive value. It means the E node cell must be more must be more positive. Huh? So normally active group one and group two matter, right? For example, sodium, lithium, magnesium cannot be reduced at cathode. Why? Because E node cell for the mat active matter is very negative. As I say just now, right? Cathode, we need to more positive value. So since the active matter right is very the inert cell is very negative, so normally it won't be chosen, and then water will be chosen, and then hydrogen gas is formed. Okay, less active matter, for example, copper, silver, chromium, iron, zinc, right? Yes, it can be oxidized. The first case that we are going to study is molten sodium chloride. Okay, so first of all, right, we must know anode undergo oxidation and then it's a positive terminal. So anion will move to anode, okay, which is positive terminal. While cation sodium right, will move to cathode, which is a, a, a negative terminal. Okay, so over here, right, okay, chlorine gas at anode, what happened? Will undergo oxidation from the chlorine gas. Okay, that's why gas bubbles is observed. And then you can make the um, prediction. Okay, yellow green pill solution is former. Okay, you can, if you want to do more um, uh, prediction, okay, or inference means you can mention yellow green pale solution is formed. While for sodium, right, sodium cation will undergo re reduction and then form sodium solid. So sodium solid metal deposited. That's why the mass of cathode, right, will increase. Okay, so this is the product of cathode. Okay, please take note, right, initially there is one mole of electron, but chlorine two mole. So the number of Electron, the number of mole of electron is different, that's why the whole equation for cathode need to times two. After times two, right, then you can combine and then cancel off two electron, two electron. So the overall equation is two sodium positive or two sodium cation liquid phase. Please take note liquid phase. Huh? Same for here, two chloride liquid phase. Why liquid phase? Because molten. So any solution with molten state, right, must in liquid. Huh? Please take note. Huh? Now we go for second case, water. Okay, water, okay, there is only one solution. That's why the species present at anode and cathode is the same, H2O, H2O liquid. And then the species selected also the same, H2O, H2O liquid. The observations, also the same, gas bubble is released. But the difference over here, right, anode, it will form oxygen gas. While cathode, it will form hydrogen gas. Okay, you have to take note that this choice is quite common. Huh? Okay. You must know how to perform the uh, how to write down the half equation for anode and cathode after combine and then become the overall equation. So two H two O form oxygen and two mole of what a uh, hydrogen gas. Okay. Um, if you still remember right, um, chapter one matter we learned about balance the equation by using ion electron method, right? So we have to apply this method to write down this formula. Okay. Okay, for N0, right, the equation is H2O, it can form oxygen. So you try to balance it. And then another one is H2O form hydrogen. Okay, you try to balance it. Okay, you try to balance these two equations by ion electron method, then you no need to memorize, oh, this one N0 water produce oxygen and 4H plus plus 4 electron, no need. You try to balance it by yourself. Later, we are going to discuss about it during class. 
Okay, now third case, diluted sodium chloride. So over here, right? Okay, this is aqueous solution. Okay, aqueous solution, but water still in liquid phase. Ah, uh. now chloride ion aqueous, sodium ion is in aqueous. Ah, uh, because this one is uh diluted solution. Okay, so there are two species present at anode. The cation is chloride ion and water. And then the cathode, the anion is Na plus water as well. Both of the species, uh, both of the anode and cathode, right, the species chosen is H2O, H2O. Why? Because anode, we need to choose a more negative standard reduction potential or inode cell. Same for here, for cathode, we need to choose a more positive inode cell. So if compare between these two, right, okay, water is more electron negative. Okay, you check. So this one, okay, water chloride. Okay, for N0, we need to choose a more negative value. So yes, this one more negative. That's why the species selected is water. Okay, same for here. Okay, for cathode, we need to choose a more positive value. So the more positive value is positive 0 0.4. That's why. Okay, water as well. Water is chosen as well. Huh? Okay, observation still the same. Gas bubble is released for both N0 and cathode. So the equation is the same, same as water. Huh? Okay, fourth case, case number four, concentrated or aqueous sodium chloride. Okay, for this case, right, the species present still the same, but okay, at A0, chloride ion will be chosen due to the high concentration of chloride ion. Okay, for cathode, still the same water because in cell for H2 is more positive. Okay, gas bubble as well. So cathode, right? Always remember cathode water will form hydrogen gas. Uh. Okay, and then normally we choose water and then form oxygen gas at anode. But this case, we choose chloride ion from the chlorine molecule gas because high concentration. And then combine, since those both two electron, two electron, you just combine and then you get the overall equation. Uh. Okay, for um, case number five, Aqueous sodium sulfate. Okay, so the species present at N0, right, is um, sulfate ion and water. Cathode is water and sodium cation. So in for cathode, nothing changes. Water will be chosen because the inode cell for water is more positive. Gas bubble is released due to the hydrogen is present uh, for cathode. Okay, for N0, this time, we choose water as well. Why? Because as sulfur cannot be oxidized because its oxidation number is the highest state. Highest state means we check for this one. What is the oxidation number for sulfur? Okay, SO4, 2 negative. Okay, if you check for the sulfur oxidation number, still remember how to choose it, how to calculate it. 4 times negative 2, okay, equal to negative 2. So sulfur equal to negative 2 plus 8. So the oxidation number for sulfur is positive 6. So the value of positive 6 is the highest oxidation number for sulfur. It cannot further oxidize. That's why we choose water for anode. So gas bubble is released for anode because H oxygen is present. Okay. Yeah? Six different cases. The first one is molten so sodium chloride. Please remember the phase in liquid. Uh. So no cho no need to choose. So this is the species and then the present. This one is the species selected observation and the product. So you must know what is the product form. Uh. Okay, water as well. Okay, it's actually right, if you notice right, quite common. Uh. And not normally water will be choose and then oxidize become oxygen. And then cathode normally water will be choose and then reduce become hydrogen. Okay, please take note. Uh. Then it's about diluted sodium chloride, still water, and then concentrated or aqueous so sodium chloride or any any concentrated or aqueous solution, right? Normally the anode will choose the uh, chloride, highlight ion, except chloride, uh, because high concentration. But cathode remain the same, still choose water, will reduce, become hydrogen. Uh. And then concentrated or aqueous sodium sulfate, okay, still both of the anode and cathode will choose water. Anode water form oxygen. Cathode water form hydrogen gas. And then active electrode we are going to discuss soon. So um, if active electrode is used right for example copper silver right, normally we will choose the copper solid or copper ion. 
Why? Because the E node for the copper solid more negative, and then for the copper ion E node, the standard reduction potential or the E node cell more negative. Okay, yeah? so you check the equation based on the equation. You know this: like copper become copper two plus ion. For sure, the mass of electrode decrease because from solid change to ion. And then for cathode, right, the ion change to solid. That's why copper metal was deposited. So the mass of the ion electrode increase. Okay, uh, depends on uh, if copper copper over here the mass of the copper electrode increase as well because copper metal was deposited. Uh. The use of electrolysis. Okay, normally we will use the electrolysis in electroplating. There is another name for electroplating. We call it as electrodeposition because um, this process, right, we're producing a thin and firm layer of material such as metal onto a surface using electric current. Okay, so the thin coat of metal is applied to an object. So the process involves placing the object in a solution containing the metal ion and passing an electric current through the system, causing the metal to be deposited on the object. Okay, so the object to be coated, right, is used as a cathode in the electroplating. The mass of the cathode increase, and then the mass of the anode will be decreased. The anode is used, is the metal which will be used to coat the object. Okay, normally, um, the industry application, right, uh, for example, copper plating for printing circuit board interconnection or chrome plating of steel part of automobile. Diagram. So this this uh is the electrolytic cell involved the active electrode, for example, copper. Right after some time, right, the mass of the anode will be decreased. Okay, because it's dissolved in the solution and then form the copper two plus ion. While cathode will be increased because deposited of the copper matter over here. Cu two plus form the Cu solid. Okay, please take note that actually for all the diagram, right, actually there is a solution. The solution over here is copper sulfate. So you have to draw the solution like this, uh, copper sulfate solution. Please write out the face of the solution equals. Okay. Another function, right, is used in purification of metal. So copper is extracted from a copper ore by reduction with carbon. Okay. So the main purpose for this reaction is to remove impurity from the impure matter okay it's commonly used to extract matter from its ore such as copper from its ore okay and then the positive terminal is anode okay it's made up of impure copper which is to be purified and then the negative electrode cathode right is a bar of pure copper so the equation involved as just now okay so anode Okay, so the mass will be there. This decrease, and then this one, the mass of the cathode increase due to the same reason. Huh? Any impurity, right, or the less reactive matter in the impure copper, right, will fall to the bottom of the cell and sludge is formed. Huh? The sludge may contain valuable matter such as silver or gold. Okay, normally the impurity is zinc or aluminium tend to dissolve in the solution by forming its ion at the and not over here. Okay, from the ion, now huh? like you see over this one also ion. Okay. Okay, now we try to answer the question 13. So gases product form at the anode and cathodes for the electrolysis of dilute sulfuric so or sodium chloride, concentrated sodium chloride, and aqueous sodium sulfate. So this is the summary that I have done with uh, I have done. So you have to jot down. Actually, the answer is very simple. The question just one product. So the gases product, okay, so here oxygen, because you based on equation, you know. And then this one is hydrogen for the diluted sodium chloride. For the concentrated or aqueous sodium chloride, right? Okay, chlorine gas is form why because high concentration uh, and then hydrogen gas is formed at the cathode okay for concentrated or aqueous sulfate uh, sodium sulfate right okay oxygen and hydrogen okay because due to the inert cell uh, the inert and not right the inert cell uh, inert cell for anode must be po uh, negative and then the inert cell for the cathode must be positive uh. keep on repeating uh. i think should be no problem for you all Okay, if this question asks 
what is the product form? One mark, you straight away give the product, then it's fine. Okay, remember, when you mention the product, right, you must take anode is chlorine, cathode is hydrogen. Don't simply give the answer chlorine, hydrogen. No, please take clearly anode dot dot chlorine, cathode dot dot hydrogen. If the question is about essay question or more than one or two marks, right, you have to explain um, what species present in the solution and then which species is selected or chosen, why you choose the species and then what is your observation and then what is the product. Sometimes, right, you have to make the um, inference um, the product. Okay, for example, chlorine gas, yellow, green, pale solution is formed. Hydrogen gas, how are you going to test hydrogen gas? When the gas release, right, okay, you go to the uh, glowing wooden plane and then pop sound will produce. Something like this, uh, you, have to, you have to mention. Uh. Okay, so do you still remember how to test oxygen gas? Try to check it by yourself. Uh. Recall your uh, previous knowledge. Next, we are going to discuss what is Faraday's law of electrolysis. So this is a description for the relationship between the amount of electricity passed through an electrolytic cell and the amount of substance produced at electrode. Okay, so we define it by the quantity or the amount of substance formed at an electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of electric charge supplies. Okay, electric supply or electric charge supply, right, normally we represent by Q. Okay, so for our first law state that M is directly proportional to Q. M is mass and then Q is the electric charge in column. Uh, the symbol for the Q uh, electric uh, Q is the symbol for the electrical charge and then the unit is in column capital C. Uh. Okay, mass is the M is the mass of substance discharge. So based on here, right, we can form a formula called it as um, Q equal to IT and then Q is electrical charge in column and then I is current in ampere with the unit A, uh, capital A, and then T with uh, small t time in second, so it's small s, uh, the symbol is. So Faraday constant F is the charge on one mole of electron, meaning there is one Faraday equal to one mole of electron, and then equal to 96,500 column. So this point is very important. Okay, as long as it's one more electron is produced, meaning they're equal to one Faraday. And then equal, one Faraday is equivalent to 96,500. So let's check with this question. An aqueous solution of copper sulfate is electrolyzed using a current of 0 0.15 ampere for 5 hours. Okay, please take note. Okay, the time that we are going to apply for the calculation, right, must in second. So you must convert the 5 hours into second. Eh? So calculate the mass of copper deposited at the cathode. So step 1, calculating the electrical charge. Apply the formula Q equal to IT. Make sure the T, make sure the T, right, must in second. So 5 hour times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So you get the answer. The electrical charge for this case, right, is 2,700 column. Make sure write down the unit. Now we have to compare, okay, by using stoichiometry compare the number of mole of electron based on the given electrical charge. Okay, always remember this thing. One mole of electron equal to one Faraday equivalent to 96,500 column. Eh? So I want to check there are how many mole of electron plus true for these cases. Okay, I, I prefer you all um, do it by stoichiometry. What means by stoichiometry? You can write down 96,500 column equivalent to one electron or one Faraday because one Faraday equal to one electron. Eh? So now it's 2,700 column. Okay, 200, uh, 2,700 column equal to or equivalent to 2,700 column times one mole of electron divided by 9, 6, Five zero zero column, so meaning that actually you uh, this one and this one is actually is the same. Uh. So now you after calculation you get zero point zero two seven nine eight mole of electron. Okay, class. Um, um, normally right the standard is remain as three significant figure, but uh, madam prefer you write up write up uh three uh, four decimal places. Uh. okay. Since this one is not the final answer yet, just remain it as four decimal places. So next step three, the, to determine the number of mole of substance based on balance equation. Because, okay, the balance equation is copper 2 plus ion 
and then plus two electron form one mole of copper. Over here, we know two mole of electron equivalent to one mole of copper. So now for this case is 0 0.02798 mole. So it's or 0 0.2797. Okay, please do some correction over here. You, you press the calculator check. Is 7 or 8? You must press the calculator. Everybody, please make sure you press the calculator. And then show the working as well. I prefer you all show the working. Means 0 0.02798 x times 1 mole copper divided by 2 mole electron. Mole of electron, mole of electron cancel. And then you get this answer. 0 0.01399 mole of copper. Since the question asks about calculate the mass of copper so you get the mole of copper and then molar mass of the copper is given so you just time it you get 0 0.89 gram get it here so you have must remember the step one two marks over here is you apply the q equal to it to find the electrical charge then based on the electrical charge you know 9000 uh, 96500 column is for one mole of electron so 2700 column equivalent to how many electron and then based on here, right, one mole of copper equal to two mole of electron. So number of mole of electron compared, you check how many mole of copper is formed. Okay, this one only you can say about how many mole of the substance, how many mole of the product is formed. Then time molar mass, you get the mass. Huh? For question number two, right, um, aqueous solution of copper nitrate. So the ampere is 1.5 ampere. So this is uh, Q equal to IT, this is the I, uh, T is 60 minutes, remember change to second. And then the first question asks about the mass of copper metal deposited at the cathode. So the step one calculating the electrical charge by applying the formula Q equal to IT, you get 5,400 column. Okay, so if you refer to step two, right, we know one mole of electron equal to one product equal to 96,500 column. So based on 5,400 column, you have to check there are how many mole of electron. The answer is 5.59858 times 10 to the power of negative 2 mole electron. Okay, actually before we proceed, right, there is another easier method. Okay, so step three is writing half equation. So this is the half equation. Copper 2 plus plus 2 electron produce 1 mole of copper. Over here we know is 2 mole of electron equivalent to 1 mole of copper. Okay, there is one concept. We need to know, okay, if 2 mole of electron equivalent to 2 Faraday, it equal to 193000 column. Because just I mentioned 1 Faraday is 96500, so 2 Faraday times 2. So equivalent to 1 mole of copper equivalent to 63.5 gram. So, I highlight this, right? Meaning that, okay, this is the stand, a general information given. You have to understand. Okay, so the question asks about mass for 5,400 column. Okay, based on the situation, 60 minutes, 1.5 ampere is 5,400 column. So stoichiometric comparison, and then we we'll get 1.78 gram. Okay, this is the faster method. Okay. If we check, okay, step by step method, right? Step one, okay, is the same. Step two, okay, step two. Okay, here step two, we need to calculate the number of mole of electron. So based on here, two mole of electron equivalent to one mole of copper. So one for a uh, five point five nine five eight times ten to the power of negative two mole of electron equivalent to how many mole of copper? So based on this mole of copper that we find by using stoichiometric comparison between number of mole of electron with the mole of product form. So I refer to the balance equation and then we continue time molar mass, we can get 1.78 gram. So it's up to you. Okay, this is step by step. Just now is find out the relationship. You have to know, okay, what is the mass of one mole of copper? Okay, and then what is the number of mole of electron is equivalent to how many mole of Faraday is equivalent to how many column? Okay, by generating the general formula okay the relationship okay okay b actually is the same but it's different equation because this one is n naught so n naught over here right, is four more of electron equivalent to one more oxygen so since we know the number of more of electron based on the step two over here so we stoichiometry we found the number of more of oxygen then we apply pv equal to nrt the ideal gas equation the ideal gas equation and then we find the more of Oxygen, uh, the volume of oxygen, which is 0 0.342 liter. Okay.
question 14, define for our first law should be no problem. And then B, calculate the mass of magnesium that can be produced by supplying one Faraday to the electron. Be careful. Because over here, based on this equation, there are two electrons, means two Faraday. Okay, but the question asks about one Faraday. So you have to calculate the mass of uh, magnesium. So definition should be no problem. Remember the keywords are quantity of substance forms, directly proportional, quantity of electrical supply through the electric circuit of the cell okay this is what i mentioned just now two friday produce one mole over here is one mole now one friday 0 0.5 mole once you satisfy the number of mole the question asks about mass time molar mass you get the mass is 12.16 gram remember you need gram huh? next question 15 consider the electrolysis of molten barium chloride okay i highlight i circle the molten because Based on this information, right, I know we don't need to choose which ion is going to discharge because only one barium, two positive, and one chlorine negative. Okay, so write the half reaction of the electrolysis. I think should be no problem for you all. Okay, always remember and not terminal positive, a uh, positive terminal, and then N ion will go to anode, and then cathode. Um, negative terminal so cation will go to cathode so and not undergo oxidation so negative one becomes zero cathode undergo reduction positive two becomes zero okay b how many gram of barium matter can be produced by supplying 0 0.5 ampere for 30 minutes okay please take notes huh? the time must in second so you must convert to second so let's check the answer step one Calculating the electrical charge based on the formula Q equal to IT. Always remember the T must in second. So it's 900 column. Then step two, you must write down the half equation. Okay. At cathode, because the question asks about um, barium, right? Barium at cathode. So you have to rewrite again the half equation for cathode. Okay, based on here, right? Two Faraday. Why is two Faraday? Because it's two electron equivalent to two Faraday. So equivalent to 2 times 96,500 column is equal to 193000 column. Okay, produce 1 mole of barium. If you check the uh, least constant, 1 mole of barium equal to 137.33 gram. Okay, this is the molar mass of barium. So, okay, we can straight away, okay, use the stoichiometric comparison between the number of mole of electron with the mole of product. Actually, um, we can skip the mole of product over here because we, we know one mole equal to 137.33 gram. We straight away compare with the mass. Okay, so now find the mass of the substance by stoichiometric comparison. Eh? So 900 column equal to 900 column times 137.33 divided by uh, 19300 co column. So you get 0 0.64 gram barium. Remember the unit gram. Eh? Okay, so based on this question, you know that actually you can straight away compare with the mass of the substance. Because one mole of barium, we will know the mass of the substance by using, by checking the least constant. Eh? Now question number 16. Okay, the equation is given. So this is the electrolysis of water. Oxygen is 4 minutes. This is air not. Eh? Okay, and then volume is given. Temperature is given. Pressure is given. Calculate the electrical charge in columns that have passed through the solution. Okay, based on previous example, we start from Q equal to IT. But this case, we have to find out the Q. Okay, yeah? so reverse. Huh? Okay, step one, find the mole of oxygen. Because this is all the information about oxygen by using ideal gas formula. It means PV equal to NRT. Okay, remember change to ATM and then um, volume must in liter. This is the gas constant, and then the temperature must change to Kelvin. Eh? So we get 3.0859 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole of oxygen. So based on, next is based on the equation. We know that 1 mole electron equal to 1 Faraday. But in this case, there are 4 mole of electron. So 4 mole of electron equivalent to 4 Faraday. That's why 4 times 96500 column. Eh? Okay, and then stoichiometric comparison. Okay, between the number of mole of electron with the number of mole of product. So we get okay, the column that produced from 3.0859 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole oxygen is 1191.16 column. 
Okay, but the question asks about what? Yeah, yeah, calculate the electrical charge, settle. Okay, done. Okay. Okay, next, this question is um, to Faraday current deposit 40 gram of Y on the cathode given that relative atomic mass Y equal to 60. What is the formula of Y ion? So for this case, right, we have to find the mole of Y by ratio method. Okay, but you have to write down the general first, huh? general equation. Y n plus equals plus n electron equal to Y solid. So over here is 40 gram over 60 gram even uh, given to Faraday. Now the question asks about one mole of y. So one mole equal to one times three over forty over sixty. Okay, and then you get three Faraday. Three Faraday meaning that okay, one mole electron equal to one Faraday. So three Faraday equal to three mole of electron. So meaning that the n plus over here is equal to three. So the formula of y ion is equal to y three plus a. Uh. Okay, question eighteen. So um. Silver nitrate. Okay, for this kind of question, right, you have to determine um the equation. Okay, I can say equation. So first silver plus plus e electron equal to silver solid. Okay, based on here, I know one mole electron equivalent to one mole of silver. Okay, one more electron will produce one more of silver over the relationship over here. Okay, one more of electron equal to one Faraday equal to 96500 column. So, and then the mass of one more of silver, you can check for the least constant is 108.87. So, based on this equation and then the this general formula, you know, 96500 column equivalent to 108.87 gram silver. So 1,000 column, you just compare by stoichiometry, you get the answer, 1.12 gram of silver. Okay. Um, if you ask me, is, is there any other method? Yes, you can use another method. As long as the comparison means the stoichiometry is correct, then you can get the same answer. Okay. Maybe some of you might find the number of mole of electron first, and then you compare one mole of electron, and then with the number of mole of electron that you get from here, okay, and then you type molar mass. Actually, it's the same. Okay, so B, how much time required for 2 gram? Okay, so this is 1 mole, it's 107.87 gram, so for this 96500 column, so how about 2 grams? Stoichiometry comparison, you get 1789.1907 column. After you get the column, so ampere means R equal to 2, so sub formula substitution, you get the answer 894 uh, second. Here, okay, must write out the unit. For question number 19, hydrogen gas is produced when water is electrolyzed. Okay, meaning that this is happened at cathode because water from hydrogen gas. So a student wants to fill a balloon with hydrogen gas. How long must a current of 12 ampere? So Q equal to IT, okay, and then I is given. And then question asked about T, meaning that before we can find out the T, we must find out the Q as well. It huh? means the electrical charge. Huh? Mm, and then fill in the balloon volume, okay, volume, pressure, and then temperature is given for that. Definitely, we need to apply the uh, mole of oxygen by using ideal gas equation, PV equal to nRT. Okay, always remember volume must in liter, pressure must in atm, and then temperature must in Kelvin, so plus 273. Okay, and then the gas constant 0 0.08206 liter atm per mole per kelvin then you get 0 0.3815 mole of hydrogen okay then you can rewrite the, rewrite the equation over here two mole of electron equal to two faraday so equal to 193000 column produce one mole of hydrogen so based on the ideal gas okay we find the number of mole of oxygen is 0 0.3815 mole of hydrogen so now you are doing the comparison by stoichiometric comparison to find out the column okay the column uh, the column means the electrical charge based on 0.3815 mole of hydrogen okay yes now you satisfy the q okay q equal to it substitute the q and substitute the i and then you find the t which is the answer is one uh 6135.79 second okay uh? okay so normally previous example this is step one now become the last step okay
Okay, so you can you must know how to from A solve the problem, find the Z, or reverse from Z, find the answer for A. Yeah? Okay. Okay, last question. The same amount of electrical pass through three different electrochemical cells which are connected in series. So in series are uh, copper two plus, silver plus, aluminium three plus. You have to understand, right? It's in series, right? Meaning that the uh, electrical supply is the same. Okay, now if 0 0.25 mole of copper is deposited on the cathode. Okay, equation. Okay, so equation is given. So we know, right? Okay, based on here, one mole of electron equal to two Faraday. Now the question given is 0 0.25. So what is the Faraday? 0 0.5 Faraday. So meaning that if you want to find the mass of silver, aluminium, we all have to refer to 0 0.5 Faraday. Eh? Of course, before that, you have to write down the equation. 1 more of silver equal to 1 more of electron equal to 1 Faraday. Eh? So 1 Faraday, this is the 1 mole of silver equal to 107.87 gram of silver. Now 0 0.5 Faraday, stoichiometry calculation, you get 55.935. Uh, gram of silver. Apply the same thing for find the mass of aluminium. Okay, one more of aluminium equal to three more of electron equal to three Faraday. So three Faraday equal to produce one more, right? Okay, aluminium produce one more. Okay, the one more of aluminium is equal to 26.98 gram. So stoichiometry calculation, you get 4.5 gram of aluminium.